Hey gun people! So I said I was going to put a saddle ring on this gun and it finally came in. Although because it's kind of a dull stainless and it's going to be on here, it, it looks like it'll match okay. I'm going to go ahead and just polish it up a little bit, put some flits on it, and uh, show you before and after. And I don't know if you'll be able to see. Maybe I'll just set it right there and zoom in on it. And then I'll polish it and zoom in on it again. So that's uh, how it came in. I think it was 25 bucks for the saddle ring. And let me polish it. And I don't even know if there's a difference. It took me about five minutes. Put a little flitz on it. Wiped it off with a paper towel. You can see it got a little black off it. And... Um, just makes it smoother and uh, now I'm gonna put a little wax on it uh, before I put it in there okay so that's uh, after I put some uh, paste wax on there I'm just this is just Johnson's paste wax I'm just gonna wipe this off here hopefully I'm still in camera And I just basically put a little coat of wax on it. Wax I found is very, very good to prevent rust. So I put it all on here since this is going to be grooved on the inside and I'm not going to get to it. So hopefully that piece of wax, I'm going to take this little screw out right here because that's where the saddle ring is going to go. And this long bolt here will be replaced with this bolt if it fits. We shall see. Um, that doesn't really release the tint. Oh, there it is. When I pull it all the way, it released it. Good thing this thing isn't a... Uh, hopefully nothing moves in here when I pull this out. I wonder if I should put a, uh, a pin on the other side to keep things lined up. I think I will. Just this little thing here. To make sure as I'm pulling that out nothing gets misaligned. Okay, so the pin's all the way through there. This pin should go back in and screw in. Uh-oh. You know what? Let me push this out and look at these two screws to see if these are the same. Do they look the same? They should be the same. So I guess we'll see. So I'm putting tension on this. So let's see if this one goes back in easier. Not really. Alright, well it's going to be one of those things that I'm going to have to work with a little bit. I'm going to get a smaller one and I'll just do it off and then I'll explain it so we don't waste time here. Okay, what I end up having to do is take that one screw off in between and pull the back stock off. And then this little spring right here, if you remember my other video where I had to put the wire, release the tension. When I released the tension, this screw went in nice and easy and it screwed in. So it just replaced this bolt that was in there. And now, hopefully, uh, let me zoom off and I'll get the, uh, hopefully the stock will go back on and we won't have any issues. And it'll work. I 
always reverse screw first. Listen for the click and then screw it down. Make sure I'm not cross threaded. Cocks. It releases. Half cock should be safety. Full cock should fire. And my saddle ring is installed. Okay, so I um, adjust this just a little bit here. Saddle rings on, and I put this leather here. This leather was I found a scrap piece of leather, and it was a little thick, a little thicker than I wanted. Um, so I just cut this in half, and I made this little strip of leather here, and then I put these two little leather things here. And the reason why you do that is. It keeps down the sound. If the saddle ring doesn't have anything on it, you'll see something on these a lot. It keeps the sound down. Doesn't interfere with the operation, but it does keep it in case it hits. You don't have metal bouncing on metal. So it's kind of like a buffer. Not needed. Uh, if you want to do it, you can. Uh, let's see, what else? This stuff here, I told you I darkened up this little handle here. This is the color of the shoe polish I use. It was a red shoe polish. And... Um, it was all dried because I haven't used it in probably two years. So I had to heat it up, let it melt, and then it kind of came back to life a little bit. Didn't have the really red color like I wanted, but it's closer to this than it was. If y'all saw the, uh, if y'all saw when I put that leather thing on, it was a totally different color. Now it's a little bit closer to the uh, wood. And uh, so that's the saddle string. And I, I will slide in some pictures on a saddle string. Basically, this was the original single point sling. For all you people who have ARs, etc., and you have a single point, and you have a single point connector on your AR, that's all this is. Uh, you can clip this in and hang the rifle off the side of you. You can clip it in and hang it off the saddle horn. Um, on a horse, some of the soldiers used to have a, a harness on their side to where they would click their rifle when they're walking because it makes it easier. So it's basically a single point sling, and I will show you how I'm going to hang mine up on my in my next to my chaps in my other room. But uh, that's the purpose of a saddle ring. It's called a saddle ring. Most people think you tie it to a saddle. You can secure it to the saddle if your gun is in a a scabbard on a horse on a saddle. You can secure it by clipping it in there so your rifle doesn't bounce off while you're running. A lot of people say don't secure it to your because if you need it, you can't do it. Well, if you need it, obviously it wouldn't be clipped in. But when you're carrying it or walking or not thinking you're going to need it, you can clip it in so you don't lose it. Or if you're running and you're not planning on shooting, you can clip it in. So that is installing the saddle ring. Pretty simple and painless. Um, I already did a video on installing that. And I slid in some video pictures. And now I'll show you where I'm going to hang this rifle.